What does this remind you of? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of a company that I found called Sunglass Spot. If you've ever heard of the company on Instagram, I believe is where they're most popular, they're called Key Australia. Now when you look at their Instagram, it looks like it's Quay Australia, it's spelled Q-U-A-Y, but I believe that it's pronounced Key because I've seen some fellow YouTubers here pronouncing it Key. So I'm gonna try and go along with that. Um, I did purchase one of Key Australia's sunglasses. Most of the sunglasses that I saw on Sunglass Spot were pretty much like, I don't want to say knockoffs, but they're pretty much duplicates of the ones that are on Key Australia, except they are about $45 less. Now the great thing about this website that I found, Sunglass Spot, is that they, all of their sunglasses are $5. That's 10. Five doll hairs. Five. 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 You know, it sounds crazy, and I was like, girl, is this a scam? I had to keep it out for myself, but they are in fact real, and I'm in love with all of the sunglasses that I got from them. Each of them come with a little um, sort of silk pocket to put them in with the little drawstrings. And what I like about these also is that they can work as lens cleaners. They're um, gentle enough to not scratch up your lenses. So let's start with the first ones, and these are in no particular order. Ooh, they're dirty because I wore them to work today. But these were the first pair I got. I'm still in that whole clear sunglasses or clear glass look. Um, I do not wear glasses. I know people are gonna get offended. There are so many people out there who are gonna be like, there goes another bitch wearing clear glasses, thinking that it makes her look cool and cute and No. I think it makes me look smarter and it kind of gives some flair to my plain sweater here from Fashion Nova. The second pair are one of my favorite ones. They actually had this pair on um, Instagram and I hurried up and messaged the girl who was in the Instagram picture and I was like, girl, what color are those? What are they called? I can't find them anywhere. And she told me and I'm just in love. Like, look at these. And like I, I said before, these are all $5. They just look like this. And they do have a gradient effect. Um, I'm not sure if the gradient effect is the black one or if it's the purple one, but I'm going to link all of these glasses below for you guys so that you know for sure. As well as I will put the name of what type of glasses either here or here. Okay, so these are these ones. And I really like the big lens glasses just because if I don't feel like putting makeup on that day or anything, I don't have to worry about it. Um, or in the summertime, I just love the look of them, you know? I wear sunglasses all year round. Next pair here are, they're really, really cute. They're designer inspired, and they just look like this. Now, once again, they have the rims, but as I'm looking into this mirror, look at how weird they look. It's kind of like matte. As I was like looking at my rim, or my lens right here, I can like see what's behind me. That's kind of scary. So these are the inspector gadget glasses where you can see behind you if uh, someone's trying to tap you on the ass, you can be like, I seen you coming. So they just look like this. They sort of have the aviator style here, but it's further up, you know, kind of curves over like this. And then they just have white on the sides. Now they do have other colors. Um, all of these glasses besides the clear glasses have other color lenses, obviously. But yeah, these are these ones. And I just thought they would be really, really cute. Obviously. Now these next ones are sort of like my clear glasses with the style, um, except they're dark lenses. So as you can see that they're similar in the way that they sort of have the black frame up on top. They're kind of cat eyed, which I really enjoyed. These remind me of glasses that would have been from like the 60s or 70s. I'm probably not getting the era right. So I'm just gonna stop talking there. And yeah, they just look like this. Um, is this silver here? Yeah, with just the silver right here and the little bridge of your nose. And I just thought these were so cute too. I had to get them. Focus. Focus on it. 
focus on me. Now these next ones were another pair of the clear lens style and I just thought that they were really cute too. They're more of like the dork glasses or nerd glasses if you will. Um, I just really like how they look. Like if you want to just throw a little sweater on, pull your hair up, something like this, get it all messy, just pop on some glasses and you instantly look 10 times cuter. Or at least me because I need some accessories and I need some help. So. So they just have the clear lenses with the black all around, they're round lens, and that's it. These next ones kind of made me laugh, although I love them. So as I'm wearing these, I was like, oh, I think I've seen these somewhere else. Where have I seen these before? And then I was like, yeah, that's right, Snapchat gave us a filter where we can wear these all day, every day. I could have spent $5 on my sunglasses by switching to Snapchat. You see? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm talking about? Okay. These ones are just cat-eyed and they have the purple lenses. For five bucks, I really think that these are really chic and cute and they'll look great with an outfit, especially in the summertime. Last but not least for sunglass shop are these. And these ones are probably my favorite ones. How adorable are these? I feel like a movie star. I should be in Hollywood. Hey, I want to be famous. Now these are the gold um, frames with the gold lenses I believe and they just are really really dainty and cute and they have that whole cat eye thing going and it sort of gets thinner um, framed at the bottom so I like that it's chunkier and cat eyed right here and I just think that they look really cute and fashionable. I love them. They're my favorite ones that I got from Sunglass Shop. So I did go ahead and splurge and bought one pair of the Key Australia sunglasses. I saw these on so many girls. I think Crispy has them, Amanda Ensing has them, I think Nicole Guerrero has them, I think Carly Bible, Bible, however you pronounce her last name, she has them too. And I was like, I kept seeing them and I'm like, this is fate, I need them. So I went ahead and got them. These are them. They are the On The Prowl sunglasses and they just say Key on the side and they look like this on. Now I am in love with these. Usually I don't like sunglasses that look like this. I'm like, these literally look like the sunglasses, the 3D glasses that you get at the movies when you see a stupid 3D movie. But they worked on all the other girls. I'm like, I'm gonna give them a try. And literally they are working now. Yes, girl, yes. See, it's even causing my phone to like go into panic mode. Uh, they just look like this. They're pretty much plain. They just have like a thick, sort of, I know this is not plastic, cause girl, I did not spend $50 on plastic. Maybe it is, I don't know, don't tell me. But they just have like thick sort of squoval, is that a word? Lenses, and it just says key on the side. And I just think that they are literally so cute. And once again, I just love that they have the big lenses just so that if you're not wearing makeup that day, don't feel like putting your makeup on, or even your eyebrows, maybe. That it just, it covers that whole section so that you are fine, you can run your errands, you can be a scary, sloppy mess underneath, and nobody will know. All right guys, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my sort of little teeny sunglass haul. Um, once again, I will link everything below in the description box. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and don't forget to stay Bella. Mwah. Bye guys. Versus. Now these next ones were another pair of Focus. Something smells like cheese. It's awesome. It, I just dropped my $50 bougie centers. Mia, why are you always such a hot mess? And that's when I tell them, I have a job.